Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. Here we have pancake. Here we have JBL cake. Right, so this is the JBL flip. 720, was that 720? Not sure. Either way, what we're gonna do with this is, I'm not sure on that either. A lot of you guys left comments, suggestions on what to do. Horn load the passive radiator, not gonna do that. And the JVC guy says, careful with some of that so-called copyright free music. Half of the time it's not. Yes, it's not half of the time. Cause I got a copyright strike and I had to go over that music with some other music, which I beat matched just about, which was nice. So there were some suggestions left as to what I could do with this. And one of the comments right here is by hoax and that is to put it into LFM mode or DSP off mode. And you do that by holding the Bluetooth and volume up button. So let's give that a quick go. Apparently it's not gonna work. So uh, turn it on first. Okay, Bluetooth and volume up. Uh oh. What's that about? Have I turned it into a bomb? Should I even be saying that word? Have I just demonetized myself? Maybe that was because I was holding the plus button. Yeah. Right, so that's clearly not gonna work. What I can do though, is go to my phone and download a frequency generator. And with that, what I'll do is give this a stress test. All right then, just so you know what I'm using, I'm gonna download this. Frequency sound generator. Install. Missed the button, there we go. Open. Okay, Bluetooth time. All right then, like it says here in the ingredients, the manual or whatever this is, 60 hertz to 20 kilohertz. That's what we're working with. Obviously we're not gonna go up to 20 kilohertz. This is gonna be a stress test and I'm gonna keep the frequencies as low as 60 hertz probably then. I'll try out 40, 50, see if they work. But yes, max volume at the lowest frequencies. That's what we're doing. All right, let's start off at 27 hertz. I can feel something. Can kind of hear something. Thirty hertz. Thirty-five hertz. Forty hertz. Got a bit of movement now. Forty-five hertz. Fifty hertz. Don't know if you can hear that. 55 hertz. Sixty hertz. Oh. What's that about? Show what happened there. We're still at maximum volume. Back down to 55 hertz. Max volume. 60 hertz. 65. 70. Seventy five, eighty, ninety, ninety five.
back down to 60. All right, so this is what I was saying about the volume of the bass. So let's play 75 hertz. So the bass hits its limit around there, whatever percentage that is of the volume. That one. So it seems to be getting warm around here somewhere. And I also thought I could smell the coils. Still at max volume. It's not doing as much as I thought it would. Ah, so the bass at 50 hertz seems to increase past 65, 70%. then it stops around there which is probably about 80% 1, 2, 3, 4 and then it'll start decreasing yeah so 60 hertz bass doesn't get any louder past 65 or 70% volume it sort of maxes out around there well yeah it's still going I don't think it's going to blow itself anytime soon Now there was somebody that left a comment saying that these JBL flips like to melt and set on fire for whatever reason. Oh yeah, he also said it'd be funny blowing one of these up knowing that Garrett Claridge still hasn't. I would probably prefer if Garrett blew one of these up because I can't really stand the smell of melting plastic or burnt speaker coil. Um, the smell does take a bit of time to leave my room and uh, I've got a lot of soft materials in here so it's just gonna soak into the material and linger for quite a bit longer than it would normally. Plus, if I was to get a refund on that, which I think it was about 130 pounds, not sure what that is in dollars, maybe about 180, that's another tank of fuel for the car. And all of a sudden I'm reading the comments. Can we get a subscribers based videos season two? Somebody's replied to that saying there have already been four seasons. Yes, there have been. One of the other comments that interested me was this one right here. Somebody tried out a Tribit Blast 2. Is it a Tribit or is it a Tribit? Is it a random Chinese generated word? Probably. Not too sure if I'll go out and get it. I uh, don't need to go out and get it. I can just order it online. But yeah, what's my point? My point is this speaker is all right for what it is. What I'll do is send it back because Amazon will just resell it. They'll sell it for a little bit cheaper, and that way, somebody else can get a speaker for cheaper. And it's not going to waste. And that way, I'm being a little more friendly to the environment. Because, you know, the environment is important. And anyway, that's enough for me jibber-jabbering. I shall catch you in the next one.